All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do for you here is at the request of my friend Super Nerd, I'm going to take a look at the new Pokemon that came out for Generation 7. Um, or was it Sun and Moon? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very tired. So the first thing I'm going to do, also at the request of Super Nerd, is I'm going to throw on some background music for the, for the feel. So we're going to be listening to Pokemon by Weird Al Yankovic from the Pokemon, the, the movie 2000 soundtrack. Get that going for you. And here we go. Let's take a look at these sons of bitches. Alright, so I'm assuming this is a starter because it's like at the beginning. So right here, this guy, we got Hedwig, and we got Bedwig, and then... This isn't even an owl anymore. Look at this thing. It's got fucking waffle fries attached to its arms. I'm going to call this one, like, I don't know, Popeye's chicken. Because it's still a bird, but it's got waffle fries attached to it and some lettuce for the vegans out there. So Hedwig, Deadwig, and, and Popeye's chicken flapping around as starters. I don't know what type they could possibly be. Um maybe like flying or normal or ass ass type let's move on it's a kitty look at this little kitty cat oh shit oh god damn it let's see okay it's the same situation as the last one so you got fucking you know the edgy kitten here ninja master edge cat and then you got like the older version of the edge cat where it turns orange you know it's it stops listening to its mother's emo records and starts wearing gold chains like Mr. T and then all of a sudden it turns into fucking a bad guy from Ninjago like what the shit is this he's wearing a belt made of fire like it's like you know the, the fish comes out of the water and starts walking on land and then all of a sudden it turns into a fucking cow like, the evolution path makes no sense kitty bigger kitty fucking something that Stephen King couldn't even make up. I don't know what the shit I'm looking at here. It's stupid. Its paw is all big. It's only got half a nail on one finger. Its tail, look at this. Its tail looks like a banana that is being peeled off. Like here, tail looks normal. Here, it's like peeling and, and little red rockets coming out. Like that's more like a dog than a cat. I don't even, let's move on. Jesus fucking Christ. So seal, seal. Okay, what do you want to bet the third evolution looks nothing like either one of these motherfuckers? What is that? I. It looks like a magic act where they took a goddamn mermaid and they sawed it in half and they stuck half a whale on its ass. Like, what the fuck am I even looking at? I have closed the window... The neighborhood dogs are clearly upset at these ridiculous starter Pokemon. I don't even know what type they might be. I don't know. Ice and also ass. Also ass type. I'm going to name this one fucking Merpedo because it looks like a mermaid and a torpedo. All right, moving on. This fucking sucks. <laughs> Look at this guy's got a little bow tie. He's so handsome. See, it's like I call him Hand, hand Dog because he's handsome and he's a dog. And then his friend is emo, emo dog, hand dog, emo dog, and then I don't even... This guy looks like the dog version of Knuckles the Hedgehog mixed with, like, Harry Styles from One Direction. Honestly. Okay. Oh! Revealing things. Look out. Alright, I saw this guy earlier. He's definitely my favorite. He's a koala. Okay. And I love koalas because they're ferocious and they love eucalyptus leaves. And I think eucalyptus leaves are fun. He's got a little barrel of alcohol. Um, and honestly, my initial impression, I called him Snake Pliskin from Escape from Australia because I thought he had an eye patch, but he doesn't. It's just his big black nose. Apologize for that, sir. Shalom. I didn't realize you were Jewish. Jewish koala. That's going to be his name. Abraham the Jewish koala. Let's move on to these birds here. And restart the song again for the third time. But all right, Jewish koala. Look at this. Okay, so 
So we got this little bird here. He's red and black as well. That seems to be a theme here. Lots of red and black. So, I, I don't I like him. He's, he's nice. You know, he's got blue eyes. And then all of a sudden, Quah! he becomes this fucking thing. Just like, it's like a stork. Kind of. I'm going to call him Dork. Because he's a dork. Dork stork. Let's move on to this. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy has a move. 100% accuracy, 500 damage. It's called Follow Your Nose. All right? And that shit... Okay, if you if it's like Odor Sleuth, but it does a million damage and insta gibs every Pokemon on the planet. It's got a big ass toucan nose. His name's Toucan Sam. Okay, he's got two cans of Fosters that he drinks with the Jewish koala, and they get drunk in the outback on Thursday nights. Okay, let's move. On. <laughs> All right. So this guy, his name's Scarret because he's a scary ferret. Okay. And then this guy's name is Scarler, because he's a scary scholar. So look at how educational he's got like a golf hat, he's got like a bobby hat or whatever. He's got one of those douchey little newspaper hats. Read all about it! New Pokemon suck! That's that's what he says, because he sells newspaper on the street. Oh man. Oh man, it's the dildo roly poly. It's got dildos for eyes. And it's a roly poly oly. Um all right, so this is something that I thought was was a long time coming here. Nintendo has finally sold out and done a crossover with Minecraft, and they created a caterpillar that's also a creeper and has like a garbage disposal for a face. And then there's this thing, which looks like the energy sword from Halo. So good job for you, looking like, like it's all crossovers and marketing here. They got energy swords and Minecraft creepers. Look for an original idea, Nintendo. Scroll down. <laughs> Alright, so we got Falcor from the Never Ending Story right here, mixed with like a dragon that's fucking stoned. And then. I don't. I think this thing was on Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Or it's like. Um, if you remember playing like Super Mario 64, it looks like those things, but like purple and with its head chopped off. You know, the things that come out of the plant and they like spin around and they try and whack you and you have to run behind them and get the coins. And they're in the pots. It looks like that. Alright, so now we got a, a bee that's doing a cosplay of Doctor Who. I don't, I don't know. This guy, I'm calling this one Shuttlecock. Because he looks like a shuttlecock from the popular game of Badminton. And this one is Doctor, Doctor Buzz because he looks like Doctor Who. Jesus Christ. Did they add another evolution of Meryl? Because it looks like... Meryl, if it, I'm gonna call this one the yellow snowball because it looks like snow that's like flecked with urine. I like that guy. He's like a gecko, like a ninja gecko. His name's Ninjeko, and then he grows into a dinosaur. Ninja, ninja raptor. He grows into freaking. He grows into, into um, Chris Bosh. They're probably dark type. What do we got over here? We got like. Pedo Bear and son of Pedo Bear with his chocolatey Claire arms. I don't even know. Oh, I met this guy. Super Nerd told me about this guy. It's like a Pokemon that mimics it's mimicry or whatever. And he, he he's dressed up like Pikachu because he hates himself. I understand that guy. Get him some Xanax or whatever the Pokemon version of Xanax is. Alright, so this is like Lull bug, because it lulls you into a false sense of security, sense of security, and then this is butt fuck bug, because it lull bug turns into it, and it fucks you in the butt, because you get lulled in, and you're like, oh look at the cute little bug, and then, <laughs> its arms come out, and it just fucks you in the butt. Let's move on. Am I almost done? What time is it? Twelve seventeen. I gotta get going to class. And we gotta restart Pokemon. Okay. So, we got... I don't even know. Um, this thing... Okay, I don't know if you guys played the original Legend of Zelda on the NES. But this thing right here looks like the uh, the little spinning plant guys that fly around. And you can only hit them when they land on the ground. And then it kind of... It, it expands. And, and it, you know, this, these, this is the fully bloomed one. This is where you can get some nice seeds out of the pod here. 
You can carve that up and, and eat it and it adds a little spice to your dish. And then this thing, this looks like Jesse from Team Rocket's salad. So I don't know what's going on there. Okay. This is the lowest effort Pokemon I have ever seen in my entire life. It is a fucking lay. Are you serious? It's a fucking lay. I don't even have anything to say about that. It's a fucking lay. Oh look, another horse! Alright. This is a proud horse from a Native American tribe. And he grew into a man horse with braids that mean much in native tongue. Each braid symbolized Pokemon Master slain for trying to oppress. Each moccasin symbolized Adobe Hut with entrances here and here. This one is the visitor center. $9.99 for the tour. Okay. Uh, looks like ghastly, like fossilized. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. It's cold outside. I wear a scarf, but it's kind of part of my body. And then I evolve into this thing that's got freaking the pants that that Norwegian curling team wears. You look like a character from Candyland wearing a cosplay of an insect. Idiot. What the fucking fuck? What the fuck? Oh god, okay. I like this guy, cause see right here, you got you got a cock ring with a with a rocket pop stuck in it. Let's restart Pokemon song. You got a cock ring with a with a popsicle stuck in it, and then right here is a sand castle. Now this guy, he's got some unique types that they've added to the game. He's super effective against anybody that think that that uh, thinks that they're gonna get trying to get him off of their skin. He's gonna stick on you forever. There's no antidote to it. You just have sand on you for the rest of your life. But he's really, really weak against douchebag teenagers that step on him to try and impress a girl. Okay. So this is Cryfish. You can tell by the fact that he looks like he's gonna kill himself. Suicide fish. And then he turns into fucking wannabe Gyarados right here with the with the dill pod in his butthole. Wannabe Gyarados, basically they're like, hey look at this little weak fish, it turns into a giant fish, it's a throwback to generation one, you remember how much you guys like Gyarados? But instead we made like the dumbest looking submarine fish that's ever lived and it's got like, it sucks. It sucks and you suck. Look at this thing. It's a Pokemon. Okay. I, is this, it looks like a grapefruit, like somebody's wearing a grapefruit on their head, and he's got like a togepi for pants, like that's exactly a togepi on his pants, so good job with the togepi pants, or Clefairy, no it's Jigglypuff, yeah he's got Jigglypuff pants, Jigglypuff pants, alright I like this thing because he's kind of like, look at my back, I'm a sneaky turtle, I know back moves, I do back bombs, then you got this guy, he's a, a, a purple crab with like a quaff of hair. He's very proud of his hair. He's a, a barbershop boxing crab with a, a quaff of hair. Oh, and then he grows up into freaking Dr. Robotnik from Sonic. That's exciting. God, I got too many Pokemon left. Look, alright, we're going to do a lightning round here. Alright, because I got to go to class. It's It's already like... What time? 12.22? Let's see. Alright. Alright. Coconut monkey, eggplant monkey, ice... I don't even know. Ice teepee, ice house from Skyrim where all the, the Falmer live. That's a fucking anchor and a boat. Are you... F really? It's an anchor and a steering wheel. Alright. This is like a half a spider and this is like a full-on spider, but they both have like... An, an egg for Neo to live in before when he needs a battery for the robots or whatever. I don't. I didn't really get the Matrix, but this is definitely one of the main characters. All right, so we got a little fucking Cupid pup, and then like Cupid. I what the? F okay, so basically it's a fighting type, and it becomes a giant douchebag with like yellow accents. He's got little feetsies and little armsies and a tail. He looks like Bayleaf's older brother who kicks ass. All right, scrolling. I don't know what this is, but it's got like an axe for a face and I want to catch it. And like, it just looks like they hired a group of autistic seventh graders 
and then asked them each to contribute one part of the Pokemon. So, like, one kid made the front arms, and one kid made the back legs, and one kid made this thing, and one kid made this. One kid wanted to add a little, like, neck thing, and then one kid made the tail. It's basically an abomination. And then they flipped the evolutions. Check this out. This looks like the second one, and this looks like the first one. Way to go, kids. F minus. Next, this looks like a purple like Pokemon's head like this guy's wearing the head of another Pokemon but it's like a cheap knockoff plastic version I don't even know like what is that I don't know also don't know what I'm looking at here it looks like this guy's like breaking out of one of those Russian egg dolls okay this thing looks like chance like Chansey's little sister that rides on a, a fucking mono scooter goes around hey you need healing I'm a Pokemon too okay Hate it. This guy, Buzz Lightyear, 100%. Buzz Light, Native American Buzz Lightyear. Okay, that's a jellyfish, but it looks like a jellyfish that's in, like... Um, okay, if you ever played Paper Mario, it looks like one of the star people, but a jellyfish. All right. Oh, that's Larry from SpongeBob. I want to catch this thing, too. It's like a yoked-ass fucking scorpion crab. Okay, these are these are jokes, right? They're not in the game. Look at this thing. It looks like chopsticks. It looks like paper chops, like paper mache chopsticks. I don't know. Um, um, this guy's cool. I don't know what you are. You look like you cl you sweep the lighthouse for for dust. This guy, he's cool. He looks like Alien versus Predator mixed with Terminator Two with these fucking spikes on his arm. That's cool. He looks like the monolith from Two Thousand One: A Space Odyssey. This guy steers. The steering wheel Pokemon. Look at his hands. He steers the steering wheel Pokemon, and then he's an he's an electrical plug. Is this guy? He's got little twist ties. He's wiring. Is it? Is he computer wiring? What the fuck is this? He's got twist ties. This is not a poke. Okay, we need. This is the point. Shit is getting silly. What am I looking at here? It is a fucking. It is cable management. They have created a Pokemon that is cable management. Okay. Alright, I see you, sexy fucking praying mantis. <laughs> this thing looks like... Okay, you know Beavis and Butthead used to do like the really fucked up animations where like they were melting and stuff? This looks like the Batman logo in like an acid trip. Like somebody tripped on acid and looked at the Batman logo. I forgot to turn the Weird Al song back on. I just... I feel like I've hit a wall here. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's all Batman logos everywhere I look. This looks like a Batman logo with an R for Robin. Help me. I just... I don't know. And then this thing looks like a marble. Like, it's got a cool little marble holder. Made out of sand. For some rich fucking... Duchess. Who only needs the finest things. You know, she needs her marble in her sand vagina. And, you know, if you don't spend at least $30,000 on it, I just simply, it will, my birthday will be ruined. That's what that looks like. And then it evolves into freaking, this guy looks like an umbrella that's caught in the wind mixed with Entei. You know, you got this thing, which is like, it looks like a, um, like a music box version of a Pokeball. Like it'll go, do, 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 and it'll just spin around playing the Tetris theme. This guy looks like the set a set piece from Castlevania. That's the last one? Thank Christ. Alright. You could get the game specifically for the koala and for this guy. For Larry from Spongebob. But other than that, maybe just don't buy it. Because it seems kind of lame. Alright, I'll see you guys.